What's up guys, Brian back to talk about The Walking Dead spoilers, season 7, episodes 1 through 3 titles and synopsis that came out on a website by Spoiler TV, and uh, we're just going to talk about that a little bit, obviously spoilers ahead, we're going to talk about episodes 1 through 3, the titles, what they mean, the breakdown, what we know, what we don't know, the Lucille victims, what we're going to expect for season 7, episodes 1 through 3, SpoilerTV.com is where we got this information, hopefully it's true and factual, but it's the information we got right now. So basically we're talking about these first three episodes, and this is from the Spoiling Dead fans, and someone put a nice sweet package for us, you know, bundled it all up, and these are the actors that were filming these episodes. So you can see it's the lineup for episode one, episode two is going to be the sanctuary, and episode three is going to be the kingdom. For episode 7.1, it's going to be the day will come when you won't be is what it's titled. Last season ended with Rick and our group kneeling helplessly before Negan and his group. What Negan does will haunt those who survive forever, and I bet it will. So basically the day will come when you won't be is a line that Dr. Edwin Jenner said to Rick in season one, episode six, the finale. He said it right there when he, when Rick said he's grateful, and then Edwin Jenner said that, and then he went and whispered in his ear that everyone's infected and everything there, too. This is the information we got from the Walking Dead spoilers. Definitely check out their Facebook group. They're pretty awesome. See, two things we want to highlight is two Lucille victims, and Daryl is taken prisoner and is not allowed to leave the group. The two Lucille victims are Glenn Ray and Abraham Ford. 1023 is when they're going to die. It sucks, but it has to happen for shock value and whatever. This seems to be the Abraham brain pile, maybe a ring, maybe bone, maybe jaw, maybe whatever. We made videos about these. People are freaking out when Negan takes Rick into the RV with his axe. He thinks he's going to lose his hand or whatever. We don't think that's going to happen, but you never know with The Walking Dead and AMC, but I doubt they will. He puts him in the RV, and where the hell are they going, and what are they going to do? So we got some information about that that we posted you know, a couple days ago, and there's a Negan picture, definitely out of the RV, one of the promo pics with Eugene's assault rifle, but by the Spoiling Dead fans, he wrote this, all I want to highlight is that an RV where they're filming burning logs from 6.16, the highlights, also, we believe Abe and Glenn will both fall victims to Lucille, Dale gets taken prisoner, Negan takes Rick on a mindfuck adventure in the RV, and the dream sequence with the baby and everything there too, so that's going to play a factor. So basically, the the logs, the burning logs where they stopped him, this guy's got to be a walker now hanging from the chain, I would still think he's still there unless the saviors got him down, but I doubt they would, they're trying to prove a point there, but for some reason, Negan takes Rick back here to the burning logs to prob does he leave him there does he do whatever i don't know the saviors follow him i don't know any of that information i just know that he takes him on a crazy adventure to show him who's boss probably to scare the shit out of him now too because when rick was trying to say i'm going to kill you not today not tomorrow but i'm going to kill you so Negan's like, all right, watch this. So I'm going to show, scare the shit out of you where you're not going to do anything to me because Negan, for some reason, wants Rick alive. I mean, in, in common sense, he would get rid of Rick, the leader, and then take over the rest of them. But so they were there filming that way back in May. So the burning logs would be back in the fray. The Daryl Blanket, he's taken prisoner. People think he's going to be killed by Lucille, and he's not. He's, it's a misdirect, but the Blanket, he's a prisoner. This is a terrible, you know, picture. It's not a real, it's a fake, but I just want to show Glenn's in it. Glenn's the victim, and Abraham are the victims. This is what the early spoilers said back in, I want to say, May or June is when this stuff came out. Well, we're just letting you know that's who it is, so expect that. And it sucks because I don't want either of them to die, but it has to. Episode 7.2 is entitled The Well, possibly. For a number of familiar faces, a new well-established community seems to be too good to be true. And that's the sanctuary. The Negan, Dwight, take Dw take Daryl prisoner. Daryl, for some reason, is going to be all that. Eventually, he'll escape, I would assume, to get back to the group. But it's going to be the Negan show, seeing the sanctuary, see the underlining of that. The, probably the first bit of that. But that's what the whole hour is going to be. You'll see Sherry. You'll see Dwight. You'll see them. They'll be talking probably to Daryl about it. And kind of build up later part of the season to see... You know, what this, what this is all about. The Sanctuary is going to be a new community. We're finally going to get to see the underbelly of that and see how it really plays out and what it is. Negan, you know, is a dictator. It's his way. It's the only way. Everything's his or will be. You see Dwight, you know, is he going to come back and go against Negan, help Daryl, help not? We'll see, you know, 
what makes the sanctuary tick on there too and it'll be the first episode of many of the sanctuary so there's going to be more filming of that people got to kneel when Negan goes by very dictatorship so I don't know he's going to be a cruel leader and we'll get to see that a little bit episode 7.3 the cell a new group of survivors seem to have it all in their impressive community however there's a price so what's the price I don't know that's pretty cool interesting to see it's going to be about the kingdom where we get to see Shiva hopefully Ezekiel the kingdom riders you know we've got to see them in their own trailer so we'll get to see that in episode three I'm excited for the kingdom probably more than any other community why are the kingdom riders going after Morgan why did Morgan leave Carol on there as well when did he just leave the Carol under the protection of the kingdom riders that's kind of shady ones that these people weren't, weren't nice we don't know that you know, we can see Carol finally meeting, getting help and Ezekiel and everything in the auditorium. Morgan with the Kingdom Riders going out again for some reason. And what's the price, though? I don't know. It's something to do that, too. We can't tell anyone about this. What's that Kingdom Rider about? Does it have something to do with Shiva? Does it have something to do with the, the hogs? Are they eating walkers? Are they feeding them there, too? I don't know. It'll be interesting to see how it plays out. But that's the information we got, guys. This is the breakdown from episode filming. Who was filming episodes one through three? Just a nice package of the see who was actually filming and how it's broken down with different things. So we'll see episode one. Finally get to see who the victims are. Glenn and Abe, unfortunately. Two's the sanctuary and three is the kingdom. I can't wait for October 23rd to come around. How about you guys? We're just getting started. We got 11 days as we make this video until the season premiere of season seven of the walking dead i've never waited and wanted an episode to come so fast in my life season one season seven that's probably abraham's brains but it just makes sense and it's kind of funny there so like share subscribe subscribe to the channel to get more videos guys let us know post your comments below and you guys are awesome